Good evening. Tell us your name. I'm Jackie Fabulous. And where are you from, Jackie? I'm from the Bronx. I'm from Bronx, New York. Boogie down. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> and what do you do for a living? I'm a full-time touring stand-up comic, yes. Oh, wow. So what got you into comedy? You know, I went to law school. I'm a lawyer. <laughs> I know, right? Total disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> I had to quit my lawyer job because I got fired. So it made it awkward being there every day. You know what I mean? <laughs> so when you got fired, were your parents supportive? No. Oh, no. <laughs> they don't understand what I'm doing. They don't get it. They don't understand who leaves being a lawyer to be a stand-up comic. They're like, why are you doing this to your life? <laughs> I don't want to wait any longer. <laughs> I... Take it away, Jackie. All righty. Uh, my Jamaican mother wants me to lose weight, but she doesn't know how to tell me. She's in New York, she comes to LA. You know how you see your parents, you become a child again? I'm like, oh my God, mommy! She's like, Jacqueline, Lord of mercy, you're fat. <laughs> Jesus, you are fat. What are you eating, people? <laughs> I don't like weight loss TV shows. If you love that show, The Biggest Loser, you and I can't be friends. <laughs> you know how that show works? Get somebody who's overweight, you lock them on an island, and they have to work out eight hours a day, seven days a week, and oh yeah, we're gonna make you wear a small spandex bra and baby panties and wear you on a scale meant for cattle on national TV. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you lose weight? Who's losing these contests? <laughs> you want to impress me, get a bunch of fatties and lock them in a donut shop. <laughs> The first one to not go into a diabetic coma wins. That's the show <laughs> I would support. She's good though. She's winning them over. I don't like Facebook. It's too much work for me now. It's cool till you find that friend from too far back. You know how they find you and they're like, oh my God, I found you. What have you been doing? I'm like, last time I saw you, I learned how to read, learned how to write. Puberty was wrong. <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> And they send you news you don't need. Did you hear Sister Mary Ellen passed away? I'm like, when you and I were eight, she was 88. She a wizard? Is she a warlock? I hope she's dead. She'd have been dead 30 years ago. <laughs> and all done. Thank oh, you. Wow. Oh, yeah. I missed you guys. We missed you more. Uh, Did you bring anyone here with you tonight? You know what? My, my mommy is here. She's in the audience. Oh, there's mom. She, she has never been to a show, seen me perform, ever. So ever. this is, ever, ever. This is it? This is it. Does she know you're a comedian? In her mind, I'm unemployed. She has no clue. She has no clue. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. Without further ado, good luck. All right, thanks so much. Uh, I'm really happy to be here. I'm happy to be anywhere where I could avoid my Jamaican mom's useless crime updates. Um, <laughs> She's in New York, I'm in LA, and she calls me daily with news and never applies to me. She's like, Jacqueline is a burglar in Fresno, be careful. <laughs> I said, Mom, I live in LA, five hours away. He can't get in his car and come on, get you. I said, Mommy, if he's cute and single and wants to drive that far, he don't gotta break in, I'll let him in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm a New Yorker, not really used to how nice you Californians are. You're really nice at the cashier at every store. Every cashier, they ask the same question. Like, did you find all you wanted okay, ma'am? I'm like, obviously, I'm at the cashier. If I wasn't done, I'd be in the back looking at moisturizers. Why are you crying? <laughs> and you can't have a bag in the state anymore at the same cashier. Do you want a bag? I'm like, I just gave you a Costco-sized box of tampons, four bottles of wine, and candy. Of course I want a damn bag. <laughs> you want to park a lot of my business? <laughs> I tried to lose weight the LA way by doing the cleanse, the juice, who's done the juice cleanse, the veggie cleanse? It works, right? I bought a juicer on a weight loss website, my first juice ever, I juice kale and cucumber with spinach and celery, and I would rather have diabetes. It's the nastiest thing. <laughs> Making love in LA, the men in LA, they want to talk about their feelings a lot during, uh, you know what, and that's the wrong time, you know what I'm saying? Stop asking questions during sex. Let's have a good time, we'll talk tomorrow, okay? Here's the, 
here's a lesson, guys. If you're a good man, and you make good money, and you have a good job, and you take care of your kids, and you take care of your mom, and you love the Lord, and you respect women too, guess what? You're not the best lover she's ever had. <laughs> Do you understand? Are you confused? I'll help you out. Most ladies will agree, and when I say most, I mean all. Every race, every age, a female agree. The best lover we ever had don't have a driver's license, or a credit card, <laughs> or a debit card, or a bank account, or a car, or a full-time job, or a full-size mattress, or furniture, or food in the fridge. You want a man with a college degree? You are so cute. He didn't finish high school, forget school. He's unmarriable, but he's always available, and he is what lady is the best lover we've all ever had. You know it's true, can I get an amen? Amen! <laughs> hey, the, hey. <laughs> I'm inside the Dolby Theater, and I'm not trespassing this time. Hey. <laughs> Anybody here do online dating want to admit it? All right, she does. I, uh, I love it. It's called shopping. It's my man mall. Go online, get a clutch purse, a pair of shoes, a boyfriend. It's all the same thing. I, I went online one time, and I met a guy. We saw, like, three movies in a week. I said, when are you and I going to stop watching movies and start making some? I'm kind of bored. <laughs> And he said, you're a nice lady, I want to be a gentleman. I said, who told you to do that? <laughs> he said, you're the kind of girl I can marry. I said, I met you on hotchocolatelust.com. <laughs> you are not my soulmate, that's why I am. <laughs> I am always the only black girl surrounded by white guys, and you white guys, you guys will not ask me out. I don't know why. I do everything I'm supposed to do. I watch Seinfeld, I watch Friends. <laughs> I listen to Coldplay. What the hell do you guys like? I'm trying to get... I want some Caucasian cuddling up in here. I don't know what I gotta do. Um, but when it comes to black guys, you know what I attract? I attract black guys who have not had a black girlfriend in years. I'm always a reacclimation black girl. I met a black guy in LA, and he's like, Jackie, because of you, I wanna come back. I wanna come back to the black community. Can you train me? I'm like, train you? You need to watch BET. Anybody got time to train you on how to be black? But I knew that he and I weren't gonna work, you know why? He had too many white requests that I couldn't fulfill. The first one, he was like, Jackie, let's get up at 5 a.m. and go for a run on the beach. I'm like, why? Who's chasing us? Why are we doing that? That seems dumb. The gym opens at nine, that's silly. The second one, he was like, Jackie, let's make love in the shower. I wanna make love to you in the shower. I'm like, can you see me? I don't do water activities. I'm a black girl. I gotta put on my big pink plastic floral Walmart shower cap. If I put that hat on and come back in the room and you're still turned on, you deserve it, okay? That is, that is not a come get it hat. You know what I'm saying? We all got one. But the deal breaker, the deal breaker on the first date, the first date, he asked me to go hiking. Hiking! That's white, I'm sorry. Hiking is white, I'm sorry. I'm like, hey there, law and order. How about I not act out my own homicide? How about that? I'm not. <laughs> Olivia Benson taught me in season one, a man plus me plus the woods equals hell no. <laughs> That's my time, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Hey, um, I, I love you too. You gotta have a lot of confidence to do this job. I'm also an actor. Uh, what I didn't know is I'm really considered a fat actor. They don't tell you that when you get dreams. Um, when I get auditions in my email, it always says, we want somebody who's older, average looking, and overweight. I'm always like, who's this for? I'm not older, I'm experienced. Average looking, clearly, and overweight. This is called voluptuous mochaccina, okay? <laughs> and then my agent's like, are you going to the audition? I'm like, yeah, I'll be there. I'll be the first girl there. I'm like, this email hurt my feelings, that's all I'm saying. I had too much confidence once and lost a really good guy. Uh, I, I joined Weight Watchers a year ago and lost like 45 pounds, right? I gained, it, I gained it back. Put your hands down, I gained it back. But the point is, when I first joined the program, I was down like three pounds in two days. It came off real fast. But the problem was, I thought I was Jennifer Lopez. You know how you lose two pounds? You're like, oh my God, you can barely see me. I'm wasting away. I wasn't, I look exactly the same. And I was mean to a guy that I was dating. He's a fat guy. It doesn't matter, but he's a fat guy. I said to him, look, I'm down two pounds. I can't be seen with a fat guy anymore. <laughs> and he's like, what? I said, you're not even trying. Look at what's happening here. He's like, yeah, I'm a fat guy, but I always leave you satisfied, and I pay for everything. What else do you need? <sighs> Nothing. My bad. Sorry. 
You know I talk crazy when I'm hungry. Don't go nowhere, I love you. I am not qualified to give girls dating advice. Um, don't tell men who you are until you get to the actual first date. So now when a guy takes me out, he's like, so tell me about yourself. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna. I'm like, well, I divorced my husband after only eight months of marriage. He had, a he had a heart attack and died the same day as Michael Jackson. I own thousands of dollars in student loan debt. I've been arrested for stalking. I was kind of a tramp in college, and I used to shoplift in high school. Chicken or fish? <laughs> Who wants to be in love? Anybody? Come on. <laughs> but the biggest lesson I've learned, when you join these weight uh, loss programs, you get an app on your phone like Facebook. I'm not gonna lie, it's a depressing place. Ladies are on there, they're like, I hate my body, I don't like being fat. I'm like, I've been a chunky monkey most of my adult life. I tell men all the time, if you want a piece of this, come get it now. Because when I hit my goal weight, I'm not gonna want you no more. So come get it now, while my standards are nice and low when I have fewer choices. I'm Jackie Fabulous, guys, thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and if you like what you're watching, and you, first of all, I want you to subscribe. So press subscribe, and if you want to see more, just click on, uh, there's gotta be something around here to click on. Just whatever it is, click on it. Enjoy.